Hey people, it is day five of Classroom Setup. If you are new to this series, my name is Jose or Mr. G. I'm a first year third grade dual language teacher in Northern Illinois. Um, I've thankfully organized the classroom and now I'm just doing like final touches and stuff. I have my friend here. Um, I'm not gonna force her to be in the camera because she's cutting paper for me because God bless her. Um, and then I might have her laminate stuff as well. Um, I'm going to show you a quick tour of how the class looks right now and then I'm going to write a to-do list and then we're going to get started. Alright, so here's my friend cutting all these papers. Like I said, God bless her. <laughs> this is my mess of the counter, but thankfully this is the only mess that's left besides the library. Um, those are stuff from old students. This is stuff that I'm going to throw away. Here I have my growth mindset set up a closet these are dry erase apples that i'm gonna end up sticking on the table i have my bulletin the library i have to organize and the math stuff over here all of this is in new bins which i'm happy about i just have to go through that and see how i want to store it Okay, so I've only put up three things so far. So I wanna put up the word bulletin, so that's that corner right there. And then I'm actually gonna be putting mm, these thingies on it. They're in Spanish and they show like the syllables and everything. Um, the table apples, which I just showed you. And then I wanna create the layout for the library. So that's the only thing I've put up so far, just cause I feel like these two in particular are big projects, so let's go. on the apples they're here they're not perfect but they're there like you can see how like some of them have the little bubbles and like I tried to put it on without so many bubbles this one's kind of bad it looks wet um, this is pretty decent and then this one's kind of okay it kind of got bubbles over on this side but I'm not too stressed about it. From afar, they look good. So, happy. All right, so for the library, I'm having this be like an arch. So I have shelves to build. This is gonna be in the corner. I have a rug that I'm putting right here, which is this one I'm about to lay down. It's a koi fish one. And then hopefully this week, I'm gonna create the paper mache tree. That's gonna be over on this corner here. Okay, so update. My friend left, so I'm on my own. And right now, 
I'm trying to put up bulletin board paper on the wall. Um, so I have cylinder block and as many teachers know, it's really hard to put paper on it because like normal tape won't stick to it well. So what I did is something that I saw, I think on TikTok or from another YouTube teacher, is that they use like scotch tape, like um, scotch painter's tape, and they like hot glued the paper onto the tape because that tape won't come off um, as easily. So I'm doing that and I'll show you guys how it's going. I already put up like one strip of paper down. Um, I have my library set as in like I built the furniture and like the layout it'll have. Um, I haven't put the books away though. I did just recently cut shelf dividers. Um, so I'm using these to like divide the books between the level they are. And I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but even though I'm like dividing the books by level, the students can grab any book they want. Um, they'll just have that talk where, hey, if you're at a level, I don't know, let's say G, anything higher, like in the alphabet, is just gonna have bigger words, longer sentences, more sentences, but they can challenge themselves. It's hot, but like I had my sweater off and then I just put it back on. So I might take it off again, but we'll see. I did finish like the things that I wanted to on the board. So like I created the library layout, I put on the table apples, and right now I'm like putting up the bulletin and everything. Um, but yeah, my friend, she, God bless her, laminated and cut like a lot of these. So less work for me on that end, but God bless her for real. But yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I'm doing over on that corner. Okay, so as we walk, this is the shelves that I made here is the little rug that i bought and the pillow and then here i'm going to put bulletin all in that area that way i can put anchor charts and then some of the things that i created yeah hopefully it stays in everything <laughs> section because I've been working on it and it's looking really good. I'm not done yet. It's still a work in progress. 
Or is it looking really good? Let me show you. So this, this is what you see from this side. And this is like kids eye level. I'm gonna have plants right here and up here. And then I also have that that says read. I'm gonna paint it and then prop it up. And I know I've mentioned it before, but I do wanna create a paper mache tree. And I wanna put it like starting on that corner, have the trunk go up. So like here have branches from like this uh, point start to like branch out towards the ceiling. And then right here have some of like the leaves falling down. So it's like over this area. I do have this garland. So I wanna put it right there, but I'm also gonna put it around here as well. All right, so I'm done for the day. I'm outside my school and I'm about to drive back home, eat some food and then maybe go to the gym, maybe. Anyways, I thought today was a successful day. I was able to put the apples on the tables and I got most of my library done, which honestly coming in today, I thought I was just gonna do the um, shelves that I built and then just put out like the Spanish books. I thought that's all I was gonna do, but I got most of it done. Um, so I just gotta finish that maybe tomorrow. I do have um, training tomorrow for like the dual language program. So I not come in or if I do, it'll just be for an hour. And then I also have training on Wednesday, but on Wednesday it ends at 12. So I'll be able to come in for about a couple more hours to continue doing the finishing touches. I do have to, um, start putting stuff on like the actual bulletins today and tomorrow like while i'm home i'll make sure that everything that i need for the bulletin boards are cut out laminated and cut i did bring my laminator this time um so i can bring it home hopefully by thursday the cork strips are already going to be on the wall since i did put in a ticket on friday for them so hopefully by thursday they're there if not i don't know if i'm be patient enough to wait until they put it up yeah this is the end of today's video thank you for watching i know i didn't think i recorded a lot today but i was mainly like in the zone and trying to get make sure that i got the um shelving stuff like built correctly and then also like that the organization of my library made sense so i did take a video of the library i like it i hope you guys like it um and then hopefully on Wednesday, I can start creating the paper mache thing for the tree and have that up. There's a couple of things that I had to like go back home and find because apparently I don't have it in my classroom. So my friend got me these like um, book displays and I'm pretty sure I showed them off in one of my videos, like on the graduation one. Yeah, it was from the graduation one. I have to find those. They're probably in my room on my table like on my desk, but it's not in my classroom. And I also have to find the LED lights that I specifically bought for my classroom, because again, they're not in my classroom. So again, it's probably just something that I have on my desk in my room and I just never brought it in, but yeah. I'm gonna go home now. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe and yeah, bye.